So we'll start from here. On August 16th, 2024, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, along with Minister for Health Honorable Moses Jabab Teeth and other government officials, toured the site of the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project and received an encouraging progress report on the construction status. That most of the things that need to be concealed in the ceiling, those are completed. And we have also started with the ceiling. So we have made a significant progress in terms of uh, covering those things. So pipes, all the pipes, all the ductings, all plumbing, all um, electrical, all, everything is completed. So including running all the wires, uh, all the boxes, all the conduits, wiring, everything is completed. Currently, the construction is concentrated on some of the critical internal aspects of the St. Jude Hospital. The mechanical, electrical and plumbing or MEP infrastructure is a complex and crucial component of the new St. Jude Hospital. All these works are completed. You can see the fire, electrical, plumbing, all these works are completed. So once this ducting is over, this area will also be covered. So practically this entire area should be done in two weeks time. What takes time in this is to do the MVP works. That is what takes more time in any of the works to be completed. The other things, once uh, and those are the works that you actually don't see it as a progress because all this is concealed. What we see is more aesthetic works. We see painting, tiling, ceiling, but it is actually the easier part of the work. So the most complicated part of the work is to get the MEP right which you don't see because most of it is concealed. So as we have completed these works, I think the rest of the works will progress pretty fast and we will be, we'll make a good headway in the, uh, we'll make a good progress in the uh, coming days. A team of technical experts are handling the installation of the MEP infrastructure to ensure optimal functionality at the new St. Jude Hospital. The momentum behind the MEP installation phase is advancing and is on course for completion within the specified timelines. Yeah, this is the major of majority of the work because services, that's the most critical part that, that need to be concealed. And this work, like you don't see it in terms of finishing, but this is what is the real crux of the works, that you need to run all your services and all your MEP. This is where it is more critical. I mean, it's not aesthetically so important, but it is the, that is the most there that is where all the first systems are functioning because of these works so these are more critical to be examined but this is more technical works and we need to get this right that is what makes a hospital or any building what uh, serve the intended purpose of this so that is the critical component of this project so and that is unfortunately we don't see it but that is what we need to get right and that takes some time and sometimes you have to do the modifications on site and so, so that takes time. But that part of the work, we already completed. The additional internal works encompass four buildings on the construction site. The dialysis unit, the physiotherapy unit, the west wing, including the kitchen and administration offices, and the power, laundry and maintenance building. Right now we have completed all the electrical, again, plumbing works here, everything is completed. The walls are at the right height. So, again, we can 75% of this work is done. So, because again, the major work was to do the MEP, make sure our plumbing is correct, make sure electrical points are correct, as per the requirement of the machines that are going to come in. So, all that work is completed. Construction and Industrial Equipment Limited, CIE, is responsible for the civil works on the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project. Caribbean Consulting Engineers Limited, CCE, provides supervision and design services. As the architect here on the project, um, so far we have, um, as Mr. Joshua has mentioned, there have been great progress um, is, as it relates to these four, four, uh, four buildings which we are focusing on. Um, the, 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 the guys on site are very, um, very efficient in terms of getting the work done especially in the MEP, which MEP area, which is very important at this stage, getting everything done in the uh, above ceiling. Up until this moment, everything has been uh, looking very good. The contractors, technical experts and construction teams working on the site are preparing for the final construction phases. Together, CIE Limited and CCE Limited continue to make considerable progress on the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project ever since the government resumed work on the original site 
in 2021. Transferring patients and hospital operations from the George Odlum Stadium to the new St. Jude Hospital remains a priority for the government. Within 24 months of assuming office in 2021, the Prime Minister secured $200 million in loan financing from the Saudi Fund for Development for the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project. With the financing in place, finishing the St. Jude Hospital Reconstruction Project is imminent and the long-awaited relocation of the St. Jude Hospital to its original home will finally begin.